Hi, my name is Natalia Kepes. I'm a Polish photographer based in Berlin. In my series, I photographed military facilities for children. I arrived at the camp on the Polish coast in August 2020. I lived there in an extra room. It was all new to me there. I also grew up and went to school in Poland, but it was in the 90s. When I lived there, these military schools or camps were not so popular. The times have changed a lot since then. I'm very interested in the influence that is exerted over the children. It will certainly have consequences on the development of these kids that would only become apparent in the future. I have observed everything that happens there. Soon enough, people got used to my presence and I went unnoticed. Here, the children are preparing for an exercise on how to behave after the outbreak of chemical weapon. I wanted to show it as it is. At the same time, I wanted the viewers later on to be able to build a connection with the children. That's why in some photos it was important to me that the children notice the camera and look into it. Some things in the camp were prepared very professionally and some things were simply improvised. Not all of the people who ran the camp were from the military. Some of them were young adults who saw it as an adventure or a survival camp. I tried to turn everything off within myself. I only wanted to be the observer without evaluation. Only when I returned home did I begin to process it. I want to ask questions with my photography and not give ready answers. The children lived in a large house where some of them also played. The daily regime was strictly regulated, eating, training, sleeping, I'd like to tell you about an exercise from the camp that really got to me and stuck in my mind. The children were divided into two groups, soldiers and terrorists. The terrorists barricaded themselves in the rooms. The soldiers were then supposed to liberate the house. The game went on all day and the children took their role very seriously. The smallest were characterized as victims and placed in the corridors. The others then had to check whether they are dead or just injured and if they need to be taken care of. When children play war in this way, you cannot say that they are simply playing. However, many local people think that their children are having adventures and learning discipline. I would say it's a reflection of a larger political issue. Some content was taught in a playful way, others in a school-like way. The children sometimes sat for hours in a forest school and had to listen to various lectures. But there were also helpful exercises such as first aid. There were about 10 groups in the camp, each with a different focus. There were counter-strike military and there was a special LARP group stalker. During some of the exercises of these groups, I really felt like I was in a war zone. In the stalker group, the children freely acted out Andrei Tarkovsky's film in the forest. The forest was divided into zones that are supposedly contaminated. The main base of the game was the professor's store where you could buy or exchange the necessary goods. The rules were explained and practiced for days. Each child got its own role and was expected to embody it. You always had to stay in the role, no matter if you had to do something or not. On that specific day, the children were paramedics, stalkers or soldiers. 
The game lasted all day in the middle of the forest. The acts of fighting and dealing with enemies were also very realistically depicted. After defeating an enemy, you were meant to take away all their valuable belongings and weapons from them. In a military club near Gdańsk, I noticed a conversation. The camp leader shouted, Grenade! The children should then fall on the ground. One girl is scared and asks, Why didn't the grenade explode? It was a dad bomb, says an 11 year old boy and laughs. This is also where the title of the series came from. Niewybuch is namely a dad. In this club in Gdańsk, it was children who, according to their parents, simply play outside on weekends. Some of these children also attended military high schools. The beginning of my research on this topic was in the spring of 2020. I happened to come across a boarding school for a military high school and learned that they have become very popular in recent years. I really don't recognize Poland as it is now. It's my homeland. Many things are very close to me there and at the same time also foreign. My childhood memories are always part of my work. I would like to continue to search for answers through photography.